Yo, hoop fans, your sideline sage, Tips and Upstreams, is lacing up once again. On deck, deep dives into the freshest NBA clashes, ready to set the planks ablaze. But before we jump the ball, be sure to hammer that subscribe on our YouTube channel to keep hooked with our sharp forecasts and prime selections. All right, let's bounce into today's NBA crystal ball reads. The first prediction for today is for the game between Atlanta Hawks and Charlotte Hornets. In a captivating showdown within the Eastern Conference, the Atlanta Hawks are gearing up to take on the Charlotte Hornets. This face-off features the Hawks, who are barely holding on to the last slot for the play-ins with a record of 24-30, against a Hornets team in the midst of reconstruction, standing at 12-41 and out of the playoff picture. This isn't just another game, it's a battle between two squads at divergent points in their journeys. The Hawks are on a mission to cement their spot in the playoffs, while the Hornets are setting their sights on future triumphs. Despite a recent defeat to the Chicago Bulls, where the Hawks' defense was breached, allowing shooting over 55% from the field and 45% from three-point range, Atlanta has displayed offensive prowess. They're third in the league for points scored per game and ranked seventh in three-pointers made per game. Nonetheless, their defense has been a weak spot, struggling significantly in points allowed, field goal percentage defense, and three-point defense. The absence of Clint Capella, sidelined due to injury, further complicates matters. However, this also offers Atlanta the chance to exploit their speed and agility with a more mobile lineup. On the flip side, the Charlotte Hornets are steering through a rebuild, having parted ways with several key figures in their lineup revamp. Despite the season's hurdles, the Hornets have demonstrated tenacity, clinching victories in consecutive games, including an impressive win over Indiana. With recent contributions from newcomers Grant Williams and Seth Curry, the team shows a fighting spirit as players jockey for positions in the team's future blueprint. Yet Charlotte's season-long statistics present a daunting challenge, with the team languishing at the lower end of the league in offensive and defensive metrics, including scoring, shooting accuracy, and rebounding. Analyzing the stats and recent performances of both teams, the Hawks have a notable advantage, particularly in offensive strength. Atlanta's proficiency in scoring from the perimeter could be decisive against a Hornets defense that has struggled to guard the three-point line. Moreover, the Hawks' playoff ambitions and experience should give them an extra push. Considering their past encounters and recent games in Charlotte, the Hawks' superior offensive power and their pressing need for wins to stay in playoff contention make them the front runners. While the Hornets' recent victories and energetic play add an element of unpredictability, the Hawks' depth and scoring capability should lead them to victory in this matchup. Their resilience in bouncing back from tough losses, along with their statistical dominance in scoring and three-point shooting, highlight their edgy in this contest. To sum up, despite the Hornets' valiant efforts and recent victories, the Atlanta Hawks are well positioned to clinch a win in Charlotte. Their sharpshooting, especially from a distance, will test the Hornets' defensive frailties. However, I expect Charlotte to put up a strong fight and keep this game close. My prediction leans towards the Hornets outperforming the seven-point spread. The next prediction for today is for the game between New York Knicks and Orlando Magic. In the thick of the Eastern Conference battle, a crucial clash is on the horizon as the New York Knicks, armed with a 33-21 tally and a solid 29-23-2 record against the spread, gear up to face off against the Orlando Magic, who boast a 29-24 record, with an impressive 35-18-0 against the spread. This face-off marks their third encounter this season, with the Magic having already secured two wins against the odds. Now, the big question looms. Can Orlando score a trio of victories, or will the Knicks rise to the occasion in this Wednesday night duel? Emerging from a contentious defeat to Houston, the Knicks' recent loss was shrouded in controversy due to a disputed foul call, adding salt to their three-game losing wound. Despite these hurdles, their defensive game remains top-notch, holding the eighth spot in defensive rating and being the third most frugal team in the league when it comes to allowing points. Their dominance in defensive rebounds and protecting the rim has been noteworthy, although their offensive side has been struggling, particularly in the absence of key players Julius Randle and O.G. Anunobi. Hindered by injuries, their offense hasn't managed to surpass the 115-point threshold in recent losses, yet they still maintain a respectable ninth place in offensive rating. On the flip side, the Orlando Magic, coming into this match after a back-to-back, -back, have displayed tenacity and form, 
clinching five victories in their last six attempts. Their defense mirrors the Knicks in terms of efficiency, with strong defensive rebounding and a talent for minimizing turnovers. Offensively, despite trailing in points per game and overall rating, their ability to draw fouls and snag offensive rebounds suggests a potent but under-leveraged strength inside the paint. When it comes to recent performances and confrontations in Orlando, the Magic have shown they can out-rebound the Knicks and stifle their perimeter shooting. Coupled with New York's injury challenges and Orlando's solid defense, the scales seem to tip in the Magic's favor, despite their sporadic offensive showings. The consecutive game scenario for Orlando is significant, considering their mixed results in such games this season. Yet, considering their track record against teams on back-to-back nights and the Knicks' current slump, fatigue may not play a pivotal role in this contest. Looking at the stats and the team's history in Orlando, the advantage leans towards the Magic. Their defensive prowess and ability to exploit the Knicks' weaknesses, particularly in the paint and on the boards, suggest they'll manage to beat the 2.5-point spread. The Knicks, despite their defensive strengths, are hampered by offensive challenges that the Magic can take advantage of. In summary, anticipate the Orlando Magic to continue their dominance over the Knicks, using their home court edge and exploiting the Knicks' scoring difficulties to notch a win and beat the spread. Orlando's defensive solidity and interior force will be key in trumping the Knicks, making the Magic the smart pick. My wager is on the Orlando Magic to triumph and surpass the 2.5-point spread. The next prediction for today is for the game between Miami Heat and Philadelphia 76ers, as the Miami Heat gear up to clash with the Philadelphia 76ers at 7 p.m. EDT on Valentine's Day 2024. The buzz around this showdown is electric. The Heat, sporting a 28-25 record, are bouncing back from a grueling back-to-back, having duped it out with Milwaukee right after a narrow 110-106 defeat to the Boston Celtics. Despite lagging at halftime, Miami flipped the script in the second half, with Tyler Harrow and Bam Adebayo dropping significant buckets. Yet, the Heat scoring woes this season raise eyebrows, netting an average of 110.4 points, which lands them at 27th in the league, coupled with lukewarm shooting percentages of 46.1% from the floor and 37% beyond the arc. Defensively, Miami stands firmer, conceding 110.8 points per game, ranking them 8th across the board. Still, the sidelining of key players like Terry Rozier, Jimmy Butler, and Josh Richardson, with Duncan Robinson on the maybe playlist, might throw a wrench in their game plan. On the flip side, the 76ers, with a 32-21 tally, are riding high after toppling the Cleveland Cavaliers. Their offensive machinery, powered by Kelly Oubre Jr. and Buddy Heald, has been firing on all cylinders, averaging 118.6 points per game and hitting 47.5% from the field. But... Philadelphia's lineup will miss Joel Embiid, among others, which could dial down their scoring spree. Looking at both squads' recent stints, especially with Miami's back-to-back challenge, it's key to spotlight how such stretches usually affect teams. Miami's 2-4-1 record against the spread when they're running on empty hints at a possible slump due to exhaustion. Philadelphia's stronghold as a home favorite, 15-7, against the spread shows their knack for leveraging the home turf, despite notable injuries. Eyeing past face-offs in the same city, it's clear that home advantage and form are crucial deciders. Given the 76ers' robust offensive figures, especially at home, and Miami's defensive clout, this matchup is shaping up to be a nail-biter. However, Philly's edge in shooting accuracy and rebounding might tip the scales in their favor. Factoring in the injury reports, stats comparison, and the home court's weight, the odds tilt towards the 76ers snagging a win. Nonetheless, with the Heat's tenacity and the 76ers' crucial absences, expect Miami to keep it close and cover the spread, with total points likely not hitting the 224 mark due to both teams' defensive strengths and the offensive gaps left by sidelined players. In summary, while the 76ers hold the upper hand, never count out the Heat, especially when they're up against the odds. Anticipate a defensive showcase where both teams go all out, but Philadelphia's home advantage and slightly sharper offensive edge will clinch it. Bet on the 76ers to take it home, the Heat to beat the spread, and a total score that stays under 2 on 24. The next prediction for today is for the game between Brooklyn Nets and Boston Celtics. In the thick of the NBA season, the stage is set for an electrifying showdown as the Brooklyn Nets go head-to-head with the Boston Celtics. This clash is poised to be a pivotal moment for both squads. The Nets, 
hungry for victory after a rough patch where they lost four of their last five games, are in a tight spot, especially with a recent defeat to the Celtics among their losses. Meanwhile, the Celtics are surfing a wave of momentum, stringing together five consecutive wins with a dynamic mix of scoring prowess and defensive strength. The Nets, boasting an average of 113.9 points on 46.2% shooting, are heavily reliant on the sharpshooting duo of Mike Hal Bridges and Cam Thomas, who are each dropping over 21 points a game. However, their defensive struggles, conceding 115.2 points on 46.9% shooting to their opponents, remain a significant hurdle. Their proficiency from the three-point line hitting 36.9% hasn't compensated for their defensive woes. On the flip side, the Celtics are steamrolling, averaging 120.4 points on a robust 48% shooting, while keeping their rivals to a mere 111 points. The dynamic duo of Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown has been central to Boston's success, making substantial contributions in scoring and boards. The team's depth, highlighted by Kristaps Porzingis and Derek White, has been crucial in sustaining the Celtics' dominance on both ends of the floor. The back-to-back -back game scenario, with both teams recently facing each other, adds a layer of intrigue. Historically, the Celtics have demonstrated resilience and the ability to sustain performance in successive games, showcasing their depth and coaching excellence. The Nets, however, have found it challenging to maintain consistency in such situations, often affected by fatigue and a thinner bench. Taking into account the team's showdowns in Boston, the Celtics' home court advantage is a formidable factor, underscored by their impressive home record. The Nets have struggled to match their home game intensity on the road, especially against the league's top contenders. Considering the stats, the Celtics' superior shooting percentages, three-point capability, and rebounding prowess, particularly in their domain, tip them as the frontrunners. Yet, the Nets' recent tenacity in the face of challenges suggests they could defy the odds, particularly given the Celtics' mixed results against the spread. Wrapping up, while the Boston Celtics are positioned to clinch the victory with their exceptional form and home court leverage, the Brooklyn Nets are anticipated to mount a strong challenge, possibly overcoming the 13-point spread. The anticipated total points line of 226.5 points forecasts a high-scoring battle, in line with both teams' offensive strengths. The critical factor will be the Nets' defensive tightening and the Celtics' scoring efficiency. My prediction leans towards the Brooklyn Nets beating the spread. The next prediction for today is for the game between Chicago Bulls and Cleveland Cavaliers. As the Chicago Bulls gear up for a clash against the Cleveland Cavaliers, the air is thick with anticipation for this Eastern Conference brawl. The Bulls, boasting a 26-28 slate, are riding the high from a crucial dunk over the Atlanta Hawks, propelling them to the ninth spot in the Eastern Conference lineup. This victory didn't just give them breathing room over Atlanta, but also kept them in the hunt for the eighth seed, a spot Miami's currently clutching. Meanwhile, the Cavaliers, sporting a strong 35-17 record, continue to be the dark horse of the NBA, comfortably holding down the fort at second in the Eastern Conference, even after a stumble against the 76ers. Throughout their seasonal showdowns, the Cavaliers have been schooling the Bulls, bagging wins in their first two face-offs, and flexing their defensive muscles by keeping the Bulls' score below the century mark in both games. This defensive clampdown is a signature move for the Cavs, placing them among the elite in putting a lid on their opponents' baskets. The Bulls' recent triumph over the Hawks showcased their scoring chops, with Ayo Dosunmu and DeMar DeRozan lighting up the scoreboard. Their sharp shooting in that bout signals their ability to slice through defenses, despite their average season numbers suggesting a tussle to consistently breach fortresses as sturdy as Cleveland's. Cleveland's defense stats are nothing short of stellar, dominating in restricting opponent scores, field goal success, and three-point lockdown. This ironclad defense, paired with their scoring spree, led by Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland, brands them as a juggernaut. Their narrow defeat to the 76ers barely puts a dent in their season's narrative of excellence in high-flying basketball. Eyeing the team's head-to-head -head skirmishes and the home court edge, it's crystal clear that Cleveland packs a heavier punch, especially on the defensive front. The Cavs have proven they can muzzle the Bulls' offense, and with their squad inching towards full strength, their dual-threat gameplay is likely to overwhelm Chicago. Cleveland's clutch performance in tight games and resilience through injuries showcase their depth and strategic mastery. Conversely, the Bulls, despite moments of brilliance, struggle for consistency against the league's defensive titans, casting a shadow over their prospects. Weighing the stats, recent forms, and the saga of these matchups, 
The scales tip decidedly in favor of the Cleveland Cavaliers. Their defensive superiority, blended with potent scoring from their stars, earmarks them as the favorites. The Bulls' erratic offense against top defenses, paired with Cleveland's historical upper hand, hints at a Cavs victory and a comfortable cover of the spread. Taking into account the team dynamics, standout performances, and the numbers game, the forecast is bold and clear. Bank on the Cleveland Cavaliers to continue their supremacy over the Chicago Bulls, leveraging their defensive solidity and offensive firepower to notch a win and breeze past the eight-point spread. The next prediction for today is for the game between Indiana Pacers and Toronto Raptors. Tonight's showdown between the Indiana Pacers and the Toronto Raptors is gearing up to be an electrifying clash on the hardwood, with both squads at a pivotal moment in their campaigns. The Pacers are on a quest to hit their stride, having split their recent six outings, while the Raptors are hungering for a turnaround after a tough stretch, losing five of their last seven games. This battle is not just about the points. It's a deep dive into each team's form, statistical highlights, and how they might navigate through their current injury predicaments on the court. The Pacers, celebrated for their scoring dynamism, are leading the charge with a staggering average of 123.7 points per game, a testament to their lethal accuracy from downtown, boasting a 38% success rate from the three-point line. Tyrese Halliburton and Pascal Siakam have been instrumental, consistently lighting up the scoreboard. Yet their defensive game raises eyebrows, conceding an average of 122.2 points per game, positioning them towards the league's lower echelons. The looming question of Tyrese Halliburton and Chris Duarte's availability due to injuries could significantly influence their game plan and execution tonight. Conversely, the Raptors have been wrestling with consistency, scoring an average of 113.7 points on a 47.6% shooting efficiency while allowing 117.6 points at a 48.9% clip. R.J. Barrett and Scotty Barnes have emerged as bright spots, but the team's erratic performance has been a roadblock. Leveraging their stronghold at home, where they've clinched most of their victories, could be their ace in the hole in tonight's face-off. Delving into the historical matchups in tonight's venue sheds light on the strategic importance of home court advantage, a factor the Raptors have effectively capitalized on. When sizing up both contenders' stats, like shooting accuracy, three-point efficiency, and rebounding prowess, the Pacers hold the offensive upper hand. However, their defensive gaps and rebounding woes might just be their downfall. The Pacers shine in assists and shooting efficiency, highlighting their seamless offensive synergy, whereas the Raptors' average rebounding and assist figures paint a picture of a team with a balanced yet less explosive approach. The battle for dominance is likely to unfold on the perimeter, with both teams banking on their three-point artillery and in the paint, where rebounding supremacy could swing the momentum. Injury updates and roster availability are crucial factors that could tilt the scales. The Pacers face potential hurdles if Halliburton and Duarte can't suit up, disrupting their offensive rhythm and depth. Meanwhile, the Raptors' potential absence of Barrett introduces unpredictability, setting the stage for a contest of adaptability and grit. Weighing the team's recent performances, statistical edges, and the influence of playing at home, this matchup is shaping up to be a nail-biter. The Pacers, with their offensive firepower, could have the upper hand but the Raptors' defensive challenges and form suggest a tight contest. The uncertainty surrounding key players and the Pacers' defensive frailties add to the complexity of the prediction. In summary, if the Pacers can navigate through their defensive hurdles and harness their offensive prowess, they stand a strong chance to outscore the spread. However, the Raptors' advantage on their turf and the Pacers' potential injury issues hint at a closer contest than anticipated. Considering both teams' propensity for high scoring and defensive lapses, betting on the total points to exceed 243 seems reasonable. With a slight tilt towards the Pacers' offensive efficiency and assuming key players are in action or their bench steps up, Indiana might just edge past the 3.5-point spread, despite Toronto's tenacity at home. My prediction leans towards a high-scoring affair, with the Pacers likely to clinch the win and possibly beat the spread. The next prediction for today is for the game between Houston Rockets and Memphis Grizzlies. In the electric atmosphere of the NBA, an exciting showdown is on the horizon as the Houston Rockets gear up to take on the Memphis Grizzlies. This clash comes at a pivotal moment for both squads. The Rockets are riding the high of a recent victory that snapped their losing streak at four, while the Grizzlies are in dire straits, 
looking to break free from a nine-game slide. Houston, buoyed by a win that's rejuvenated their spirit, is showcasing a blend of toughness and finesse, pouring in 113.3 points a game on a solid 46.3% from the field. Alperin Sengun and Jalen Green have been instrumental in their scoring and boarding efforts, while Fred Van Vliet's playmaking and Dylan Brooks' knack for grabbing rebounds have given the Rockets a crucial advantage. Their precision from the three-point line at 35.2% and their proficiency at the charity stripe hitting 77.5% are critical to their offensive strategy. On defense, the Rockets have been stout, holding opponents to 34.6% from downtown and dominating the glass with an average of 45.5 rebounds per game, highlighting their tenacity. On the flip side, the Grizzlies are trying to steer through stormy seas. Their offense has been inconsistent, managing just 106.7 points on 43.9% shooting. Despite Desmond Bain and Jaron Jackson Jr. leading the charge, Memphis has struggled to keep up with adversaries. Their three-point and free-throw percentages mirror these offensive woes defensively while they've had moments of grit, allowing opponents to shoot 47.4% overall and 38.2% from beyond the arc has been their Achilles heel. A closer look at the recent matchups in Memphis shows the Rockets have had the edge, securing wins and beating the spread in their last three face-offs by an average of 10 points. This pattern along with the Grizzlies' form and the Rockets' determination, hints at Houston's continued upper hand. Injuries to key players like Derrick Rose and Zaire Williams only skew the odds more in Houston's favor. Evaluating how each team fares in back-to-back games, it's clear that stamina and depth are key. Houston's knack for rebounding post-victory and their superior stats, especially in shooting, boarding, and defense, make them the frontrunners. Memphis's scoring and rebounding struggles signal a weakness ready for Houston to exploit. With this backdrop, the Rockets, with their well-rounded offense and staunch defense, look set to carry the day. Their recent dominance over Memphis and the urgency for playoff contention add extra motivation. The Grizzlies, battling with form and health issues, have a steep hill to climb. In summary, the Houston Rockets are primed to continue their win streak against the Memphis Grizzlies thanks to their offensive prowess and defensive strength. With a four-point advantage, they're not just expected to win, but also to cover the spread, exploiting Memphis's defensive gaps and offensive inconsistencies. With the game's total points predicted to fall below the 218.5 mark, my money's on the Rockets to secure the win and cover the spread. The next prediction for today is for the game between Washington Wizards and New Orleans Pelicans. Amidst the NBA season's pinnacle, an electrifying duel unfolds as the Washington Wizards gear up to face off against the New Orleans Pelicans. The Wizards, caught in a formidable seven-game slide, are in dire straits to turn their fortunes around. On the flip side, the Pelicans are riding high, marking wins in six of their last seven games. This clash, a stark study in contrasts, beckons us into the nuanced dance of basketball stats and performance trajectories. The Wizards' recent performance rings alarm bells, with defeats by powerhouses like the Clippers, Heat, Suns, Cavaliers, Celtics, 76ers, and Mavericks. Scoring an average of 114.6 points on 47.4% shooting, while conceding a hefty 123.7 points on 49.6% shooting, their defense seems to be their downfall. Even with Kyle Kuzma's commendable 21.8 points and 6.3 rebounds, and Jordan Poole chipping in with 15.6 points and 3.6 assists, the team falters, especially away, with a 6.21 record. The loss of Gafford, their defensive linchpin, adds to their woes. In contrast, the Pelicans are thriving with notable victories over the Trailblazers and Grizzlies, showcasing their formidable state. With an average score of 116.1 points on 48.7% shooting and limiting opponents to 112 points on 46.4% shooting, they strike a balance between offensive might and defensive rigor. Zion Williamson and Brandon Ingram, with averages of 22.1 and 21.5 points respectively, spearhead a squad that shines in rebounding and shooting efficiency, particularly from the three-point line at 37.8%. Stat-wise, the Pelicans have the upper hand, particularly in rebounding and three-point efficiency, key elements in determining NBA game outcomes. Their prowess at home further solidifies their advantage. Meanwhile, the Wizards' struggles on the road and defensively hint at a tough evening ahead. The historical matchups in the Pelicans' territory further lean in their favor, evidencing their capability to exploit the home court advantage against the Wizards. Injury updates for both squads 
with the Wizards missing critical players and the Pelicans, possibly without Zion Williamson, introduce an element of unpredictability. Nonetheless, the Pelicans' depth and current form equip them to withstand such setbacks. Given the stats comparison, current dynamics, and the strategic edge of home turf, the New Orleans Pelicans are set to exploit the Wizards' defensive gaps. Despite some potential, the Wizards appear outmatched against a Pelican squad that not only excels, but also harmonizes attack and defense effectively. The Pelicans' superior shooting metrics and strong rebounding highlight their readiness to prolong their win streak. Thus, the forecast heavily favors the New Orleans Pelicans, not just to win, but also to beat the 12.5-point spread set by the oddsmakers. The mix of form, statistical edge, and momentum's intangible force positions the Pelicans to dominate this faceoff. The projected high-scoring game, with an over-under total of 235.5 points, is likely to be swayed by the Pelicans' offensive play. To sum up, the New Orleans Pelicans are tipped for victory, driven by statistical dominance, recent achievements, and the strategic plus of home advantage. The Wizards, bogged down by their losing streak and defensive issues, are braced for a steep challenge. The smart move is to bet on the Pelicans to not only triumph, but also cover the spread, utilizing their momentum and home edge to fortify their standing in the NBA. My stake is with the New Orleans Pelicans to surpass a minus 12.5 point spread. The next prediction for today is for the game between San Antonio Spurs and Dallas Mavericks. Tonight's clash between the San Antonio Spurs and Dallas Mavericks promises to be a captivating face-off, highlighting a clash of momentum and scoring prowess. On one hand, the Spurs, struggling through a tough season, aim to leverage a recent win as a springboard. On the other, the Mavericks, surfing a five-game win streak, are powered by the electrifying pair of Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving. The Spurs, anchored at the bottom of the Western Conference with an 11-43 tally, broke free from a seven-game skid with a decisive 122-99 triumph over the Raptors. This victory, sparked by Victor Wembanyama's impressive 27-point outing, revealed a glimpse of what the Spurs can achieve with a synchronized offense. Yet, the season's tale has predominantly been one of struggle, marred by inadequate performances on both offense and defense. With an average of 112.2 points on 46.1% field goal shooting and the league's lowest three-point success rate at 34.1%, their scoring efforts are stifled. Defensively, they're leaking points, allowing 120.5 on average on 49% shooting, showcasing their challenges in halting rival attacks. In contrast, the Mavericks have hit their stride holding a 31-23 record and securing the seventh spot in the Western Conference. Their latest win against the Wizards highlighted their tenacity, with Doncic and Irving amassing 52 points together, scoring an average of 118.7 points on 47.7% shooting. Dallas's offense is a force to be reckoned with, bolstered by a 37.3% accuracy from beyond the arc. Despite conceding 117.7 points on 48.3% shooting, their scoring ability frequently eclipses their defensive shortcomings. When it comes to matchups in Dallas, history tilts in favor of the Mavericks, especially recalling their December clash where they racked up 144 points against the Spurs. Given Dallas's current form and the Spurs' defensive frailties, a repeat performance seems plausible. Both teams grapple with injuries that might affect their lineups. The Spurs will be without Charles Bassey and Marcus Morris Sr., whereas the Mavericks will miss Dante Exum, with uncertainties around Maxi Kleber and Derek Lively too. Nonetheless, the expected return of Irving and Doncic tips the scales in Dallas's favor. Statistically, the Mavericks outshine in scoring, shooting efficiency, and three-point accuracy, pivotal elements in today's basketball. The Spurs' defensive predicaments, especially against teams that excel from the perimeter like Dallas, paint a daunting picture for them. Considering the Spurs' recent struggles and the Mavericks' rising momentum, Dallas's offensive edge and home advantage are key. The Spurs' poor perimeter defense will likely be exploited by Dallas' sharpshooters, setting the stage for a Dallas scoring spree. However, considering the game's pace and both teams' scoring potentials, the total points might fall below the ambitious over-under line of 241.5. To sum up, while the Mavericks are poised to clinch the victory and beat the spread with their scoring depth and the Spurs' defensive woes, the match's tempo and efficiency will dictate the outcome. Dallas is expected to dominate, especially through Doncic and Irving, but the overall score is likely to undershoot the high expectations, 
with the total points staying under 241.5. The next prediction for today is for the game between Sacramento Kings and Denver Nuggets. On a heart-thumping Valentine's Day face-off in the Western Conference, the Denver Nuggets are gearing up to welcome the Sacramento Kings at Ball Arena, setting the stage for a showdown loaded with drama and high stakes. The Nuggets are on a mission to bolster their stellar home court record, while the Kings are on the hunt for redemption after hitting a rough patch, making this clash a critical juncture for both squads. The Kings, known for their dazzling offense, have hit a snag recently, losing four of their last five games. This rough stretch was highlighted by a gut-wrenching 130-125 defeat to the Suns, a game that flaunted their scoring prowess but also exposed some defensive cracks. With De'Aaron Fox and Domantas Sabonis at the helm, the Kings have been lighting up the scoreboard, averaging 118.6 points per game and shooting a solid 48.3% from the field. Yet, their Achilles heel has been their leaky defense, especially from beyond the arc, where they're giving up a 39.8% success rate to their opponents. Meanwhile, the Denver Nuggets are navigating through their own challenges, coming off a stinging 112.95 loss to the Bucks. Nikola Jokic remains the cornerstone for the Nuggets, delivering stellar performances across the board. However, the team has shown some vulnerabilities lately, particularly when their secondary lineup fails to step up. The Nuggets' defense, a key strength allowing just 111.0 points per game, will be vital in this matchup against the Kings' offensive juggernaut. When comparing the two teams' statistics, the Nuggets have a slight upper hand in defensive metrics and field goal efficiency, shooting an impressive 49.1% from the field. This defensive prowess, combined with their formidable 21-4 home record, gives them a leg up against the defensively struggling Kings. Past encounters in Denver have been nail-biters, with the Nuggets often capitalizing on their home court advantage. Considering the Kings' recent form and the Nuggets' home resilience, the game seems tilted in Denver's favor, especially with the Kings facing the added pressure of a back-to-back -back game, which has historically dented their performance. Injury updates are also crucial, with the Kings missing key players and the Nuggets possibly without Kentavious Caldwell-Pope. The depth of both rosters will be put to the test, but Denver's capacity to perform without some of their stars hands them an advantage. With the oddsmakers tagging the Nuggets as 5.5 point favorites and setting the total points line at 230.5, the matchup is anticipated to be an offensive spectacle. However, Denver's defensive edge and home court superiority, along with Sacramento's defensive hiccups and back-to-back -back game fatigue, position the Nuggets as the top pick to snatch the win and beat the spread. In essence, while the Kings' offensive might is formidable, the Nuggets' strategic balance, defensive strength, and home court edge at Ball Arena are likely to tip the scales in their direction. Denver is poised to rebound from their recent losses, leaning on their squad depth and Jokic's leadership to clinch the victory and outpace the 5.5 point spread, exploiting the Kings' defensive vulnerabilities and the tough back-to-back -back schedule faced by Sacramento. My wager, the Denver Nuggets are to come out on top and cover the 5.5 point spread. The next prediction for today is for the game between Detroit Pistons and Phoenix Suns. Tonight's clash on the court showcases the Detroit Pistons squaring off against the Phoenix Suns in what's gearing up to be an electrifying standoff. The Pistons, hungry for a victory following a rough patch where they've lost five out of their last seven games, are set to bounce back against the might of the top-tier teams. On the flip side, the Suns, buoyed by their triumphant streak of winning six out of their last eight games, are poised to keep their winning momentum alive. This game presents a riveting narrative of a dark horse going head-to-head -head with a championship contender, each team ready to lay it all out on the court with their distinct skills and game plans. The Pistons have experienced a season filled with highs and lows, showcasing tenacity and some close calls. With an average score of 113.1 points at a 47.4% shooting accuracy, their attack is formidable, led by the dynamic Cade Cunningham. However, their defense has been their weak link, conceding 122.1 points at a 49.4% shooting rate, a vulnerability highlighted in their recent defeat to the Lakers, despite impressive efforts from Osar Thompson and James Weissman. The Pistons' fighting spirit, evident in their ability to beat the odds in seven of their last ten matches, is commendable. Contrastingly, the Suns have displayed their prowess and depth, scoring an average of 117.6 points, with a 49.9% shooting efficiency. The duo of Kevin Durant and Devin Booker has been phenomenal, spearheading the Suns' attack. Their resilience, 
as seen in their comeback win against the Kings, reflects their competitive spirit. Nonetheless, Bradley Beal's potential absence due to injury could shake up their offensive strategy, particularly in a back-to-back game scenario. The Suns have historically excelled in closing games, leading the league in third-quarter win rates, though they've had their struggles in the final quarter. Meanwhile, the Pistons' issues with turnovers and conceding steals might hamper their chances of exploiting any Suns' weariness. The rivalry in this city has seen both teams exchange wins and losses, but the Suns' advantage at home and their current form slightly tip the balance in their favor. Injuries and player endurance are key to tonight's game outcome. The Suns' depth and sharpshooting, particularly from the three-point line and free-throw line, grant them an advantage. Yet, the Pistons' resilience and fight render them a tough matchup, especially against a Suns squad, possibly missing a vital player and recovering from a previous game's exertions. Based on statistical insights, recent performances, and history in this venue, the forecast leans towards the Phoenix Suns clinching the victory, albeit not necessarily by surpassing the 14-point spread. The Pistons' grit and knack for keeping matches competitive against formidable teams suggest they will beat the spread, leveraging the Suns' potential tiredness and injury woes. Anticipate an action-packed game, with the Pistons demonstrating enough resolve to narrow the odds more than expected. My wager is on the Detroit Pistons to defy the 14-point spread. The next prediction for today is for the game between Los Angeles Lakers and Utah Jazz. In the spotlight of Salt Lake City, the stage is set for a riveting basketball saga as the Los Angeles Lakers square off against the Utah Jazz. This matchup is the talk of the town among basketball enthusiasts and wagering circles. The Lakers, on a hot streak, have clinched victories in five of their last six games, showcasing their grit and team depth. Meanwhile, the Jazz are on a mission to bounce back, having faced setbacks in five out of their last seven contests plagued by defensive shortcomings and faltering in pivotal moments. The Lakers have been on a roll, with significant wins against teams like the Pelicans and Pistons, where they unleashed their offensive might, averaging 116.6 points with a scorching 49.3% field goal efficiency. Spearheaded by the dynamic LeBron James and Anthony Davis, their offense has been relentless. James, dropping 24.8 points and grabbing 7.3 boards per game, along with Davis's consistent double-doubles, have been instrumental. D'Angelo Russell's scoring touch and Austin Reeves's bench heroics have further amplified their arsenal. Their precision from downtown and at the free-throw line has been key to their triumphs. On the flip side, the Utah Jazz, despite their scoring ability, netting 117.6 points at a 47.1% shooting clip, have been hamstrung by their porous defense, conceding an average of 120 points to adversaries. With standout efforts from Laurie Markkinen and Colin Sexton, the team's defensive fragility and missing key figures like Otto Porter Jr. have exposed them. Though their rebounding and free-throw proficiency surpass the Lakers, their struggle against the three-point barrage remains their downfall. Past encounters in Salt Lake City have been electric, with the home court often tipping the balance. However, the Lakers' current momentum and the Jazz's defensive and handling hiccups suggest a shift. The Jazz's poor stats in blocks and turnovers per game are vulnerabilities ripe for the Lakers' picking. Injury updates are pivotal, with absences on both rosters. Yet the Lakers' depth and the anticipated return of their aces, AD and LeBron, might just tip the scales. Despite the Jazz's home court, their contrasting form and defensive lapses paint an intriguing picture. The Lakers resent supremacy and sharp shooting. Pitted against the Jazz's defensive lapses favor the Lakers. Despite the Jazz's slight edge with a 4.5 point spread, the Lakers' momentum and high scoring game expectation lean towards the Lakers covering the spread and eyeing victory. In essence, with each team bringing their unique strengths and vulnerabilities to the fore, the Lakers, fueled by star performances and recent successes, are well positioned to challenge the Jazz's home fortitude. The Jazz's defensive struggles versus the Lakers' offensive clutch plays will be critical. Anticipate a nail bitter, but with the Lakers' resilience, depth, and star power, they're likely to cover the spread and notch a win in this exhilarating clash. My money's on the Lakers to triumph and beat the five-point spread. The last prediction for today is for the game between Los Angeles Clippers and Golden State Warriors. Tonight's basketball showdown is set to ignite the Chase Center as the Los Angeles Clippers go head-to-head with the Golden State Warriors, sparking widespread buzz. The Clippers, 
buoyed by a triumphant streak of 10 victories in their last 13 games, are keen to keep the ball rolling, despite a recent hiccup against the Timberwolves. Meanwhile, the Warriors, ablaze with a scorching five-game winning streak, have been flexing their muscles against formidable opponents like the Nets and 76ers. Crunching the stats, the Clippers are flaunting impressive court skills, averaging 118 points on a robust shooting accuracy of 49.3%. Their defense is also on point, restricting rivals to 112.5 points with a 46.6% shooting accuracy. With Kawhi Leonard spearheading the offense with an average of 24.1 points and 6.2 rebounds, alongside the backup firepower of Paul George and James Harden, the Clippers boast a formidable lineup. Yet, their strategy faces a test tonight without Leonard, potentially tipping the balance. Not to be overshadowed, the Warriors are posting an average of 119.2 points while conceding 117.6, with Stephen Curry leading the charge with a remarkable 28 points per game. Their dominance in rebounding, averaging 46.7 per game, might just be the game-changer in tonight's duel. Reviewing their recent encounters at the Chase Center, the advantage of playing at home has been a decisive factor, with the home team clinching victories in the last nine matchups. The Warriors' prowess in covering the spread, particularly in back-to-back games, is noteworthy. Digging deeper into the stats, the Clippers are the league's frontrunners in three-point shooting efficiency at 39.6% underscoring their sharpshooting capabilities. However, the Warriors' superior rebounding efficiency, where they rank second nationwide, is a force to be reckoned with. Leonard's absence could very well be the turning point tonight. Given the Warriors' stellar form, their home turf advantage, and the Clippers' road game struggles, especially when coming off a loss, the scales are tipped in favor of the Golden State Warriors not only to clinch the win, but also to cover the spread. The Warriors' flair for rising to the occasion, coupled with their current winning momentum and the Clippers' lineup challenges, positions them to leverage this encounter to prolong their victory parade. From a betting perspective, with the Warriors riding high on their streak and home advantage, and the Clippers without Leonard, the wise bet is on the Warriors to beat the spread. The statistics and recent performances tilt the odds in favor of the Warriors seizing the opportunity to exploit the Clippers' current form. My money's on the Golden State Warriors to emerge victorious and beat the three-point spread.